Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Tanon Jr., and I've been AFK over at the Mob Farm. Um, <clears throat> found some interesting stuff. Uh, first of which, is, <laughs> since, since I've been playing with the fabric launcher, let me park myself somewhere safe here for a second. Um, I've been looking at some of the other fabric stuff that I've dismissed because I didn't want to fuss with the fabric launcher and now that I have I'm kind of mad that I didn't do it before because there is an addition called free cam so that lets you change your perspective a little bit and it's really good for showing off stuff like this so I am there and as far as the game is concerned that's where that's where my body is it is just moving my point of view within the rendered area hello beach duck so I can do things like come down here and show off that I have doubled the sugarcane farm and I need to uh, double it again. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> this is definitely more productive than it was before. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, but it, uh, it, it could be more. Uh, it might also help if I had more than just the, the two observers one for each row uh, or at least that might be a little more efficient in terms of production but I'm not so sure it would be more efficient in terms of usable results or useful results so that part still kind of remains to be seen I I'm gonna continue with design this design as it is though and scale it up until I get up there the other thing that I noticed when I was playing around with this is on the mob farm, I am getting almost no utility out of these bottom two, three levels because with the lighting update, the light from the mobs burning to death is enough to keep stuff from spawning on that platform. And that platform... <laughs> Like, I sat here watching, and nothing spawned on either one of those two platforms. Uh, <clears throat> oh, and, and as I said that, there... Never mind. I was wrong. I... Sure. Why not? Okay. <laughs> I sat here and watched for I don't know how long, and nothing spawned on those two. I assumed it was because of the light of the bodies burning, but apparently not. Okay, well, maybe I'll go take another nap. All right, let me uh, let me hit the key to get back up here, because what we have today is uh, a little project. We need to find where on the nether roof a crimson forest biome is, because I'm going to build a cooked pork chop farm by logical geek boy uh it's pretty much the same one that i built in season one because i mean it, it's i mean it's good enough um also i found out the hard way i forgot to put carpet on top of the uh glazed terracotta there so this guy uh, was one of the people waiting down here for me when i got done with an xp run he was very upset that i didn't have my golden boots on but uh, I've been trading with him, and I need to get seven of his brothers over here. Uh, I was originally going to build a, a bigger version of the gold trading farm. Uh, one that I saw that uses 24 of those guys. But I started looking at the math, and this is never going to produce enough gold to feed 24 piglins. So I'm just going to get eight of them. And, uh, and work it that way. Because, uh, yeah. They, 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 uh, these guys go through gold quick. And so eight will be enough. We've got this path going off to the end portal now. I can't remember if I showed that the last time or not. And we've got this path going off to the desert where I've been farming sand. Um... I, I may ask uh, Ray asked for somebody to make this path a little less, a little more direct, a little less janky. Um, <clears throat> my pathfinding is not the best. 
Uh, but that takes us to an area where we've got a desert, a red desert, and a mesa nearby. So we've got a pretty good source of sand and terracotta. As you can see, I, I've been working my way down from this peak. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, that that's that's where I've been digging down to. Arcadius has apparently been over at a beach nearby here and working. Probably that's uh, probably it over there. Uh, but anyway, he's been working on the down that way. But that also gives us red sand and some terracotta. Um, there's more mesa out that way too. And there's also a jungle just outside of render distance there and in that jungle I grabbed three parrots two of them are back in my base because the third one flew through the fire to get to me and um, there is no cooked parrot in the game fun trivia okay not fun trivia alright so I need to find a crimson forest biome to put this in <laughs> I, I could have sworn there was one not too far from here. Oh, and that path leads to the uh, temple where a guardian farm and other fun stuff will be forthcoming. Because uh, I remember I needed to move that over. Uh, but I, I think it's because this is all... Yeah, Basalt Delta. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so, all right. I got my gold boots of Piglin Diplomacy on. Let's uh, let's come down this way and see if we can't scout out the the closest crimson forest biome. So that way we can we can make this the <laughs> the shortest distance from the portal, and we are going to build it up on the nether roof just like we've done the other stuff. And uh, oh, I know what I forgot to bring. I forgot to bring scaffolding. All right, I may I may have enough in my ender chest. Uh, I just got to remember not to open it when I'm up there. The I forgot the piglins get kind of mad at you for opening chests. And so uh, he, he made his point a few times because uh, I opened the <laughs> ender chest right there. It's like, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. All right. <clears throat> I think there was... This might be the closest crimson forest, because there's a warped forest right there. And the crimson is over here. So we're looking We're looking at one one sixteen by ten ish. Or even one ten by ten. Alright. That gives us our information for for up there. I mean, assuming we actually uh nail this landing. Otherwise, it could be a very short stream while I go cry in the corner. <sighs> I keep doing Top Gun references, but I get the feeling that's uh, a little, a little, a little too old. I was also very depressed when somebody mentioned a song that came out in the 90s and goes, yeah, it's about time for the 30-year anniversary. Like, the, the what? <laughs> uh, that's a negative. Was that positive 110 or negative 110? That had to have been positive 110. No. Yes? No? Oh, bother. I guess I wasn't paying that much attention. <laughs> uh, eventually there will be prismarine there. And uh, prismarine slabs up at the top so you get a better sense for what's there. One ten. 
Crimson by 10. And this is a Crimson Forest. Okay. Sweet. Let's, uh... Let's set up shop. Alright, I'm gonna need that there. I'm gonna need... I hope I got enough redstone components. <laughs> I get, I'm getting ready to put together my brown bag lunch. Uh... So I got the project chest, I got the redstone components. I guess I will I will grab the materials too, because I, I might need to build some more. Um, I need my portable workshop. No, I'm no. I'm gonna need more chests than that. Yeah. I'm gonna need a lot more chests than that. <laughs> uh, matter of fact, I'll just leave those right there. I need to get to working on uh, getting some rails around here too. Uh, let's see. How do I... Let's try to get this up. One more block. Because that chest is not a spawnable surface, if I remember right. So this tower of... Uh, interesting accoutrement are, uh, should, uh, yeah. All right. Oh, uh, ooh, I only have 18 hoppers left? I thought I had more than that. All right, that's okay. That's why I brought some iron with me. I got some bone blocks and weeping vines for the AFK platform. I got some torches because we're going to need to keep the lighting at a certain level on this netherrack platform. But first and foremost, I need storage. Um, I just realized I don't, I don't have any. Uh, I need to work on getting the the wool. I mean, how can you build redstone without wool? And there we go. I probably didn't need to make that much orange wool, but uh, we'll, we'll we'll get to the we'll get to the sheep farm soon enough. As soon as we can figure out where to put it. All right. So, what I need to do is stop and think for a second. What is a stop and think? Uh, I need. To mark out where the platform is going to be and then go from there. So I need a 20, 23 by 23 ish area. We'll make it 25 by 25. Uh, <clears throat> so let's go here. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ah, uh, wait. If it's twenty-five, and that's going to be the center, then I uh, twenty-four, uh, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, and we're still we're still crimson crimson forest crimson forest. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. And if that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. So that should be 25 blocks that way. And we're still in Crimson Forest. Okay. Good. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, 
and that's in line with that. Actually, why am I doing this the hard way? Right? Nope. There we go. Nailed it. <laughs> I'll double check all this in just a minute. All right. Um, let me get that out of the way. I kind of, I need to, I wish there was a way for the heads up display to show the biome or some way to get a more uh, reduced F3 menu. You know, so, something, something that stripped down to a little bit more of the essentials. Because, uh, yeah, the, the, a, as useful as the diagnostic screen is, did I, did I do that over one too, too many? Uh, as useful as the diagnostic screen is, it takes up a lot of real estate and there's a lot of information there that ends up getting, that you really do need to use in the course of building a lot of stuff. Bother. <laughs> okay. So this should be my area. This is where the platform is going to be centered on here. So there is going to be a five by five grid of hoppers over over the edge. Uh, that means that. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I didn't I didn't bring hoppers. Um, hoppers, hoppers everywhere. Uh, let's do this. Let's make half a stack of hoppers. And let's make half a stack of chests. That way, if we need to make more uh, more hoppers, we got that. Uh, I don't think that's going to... Yeah. Uh, so... The question is, where do I want the storage to sit and how do I want it to go? Let's do this. If this is... Oh. Let me double check. We're still all Crimson Forest, are you right? Crimson Forest. Nope. Yep. Just triple checking because I do not want to build this and then find out that I really needed to uh, <laughs> to change it. Okay. So let's do this then. Let's go. If that's the middle of the 5x5, five five, then there'll be a hopper there. There'll be a hopper there. And... Ooh, do I want everything funneling down to, to one... To one hopper? So we'll do this. Uh, we'll get one, two, three, five rows. We'll do four rows of pork chop and then one row of leather. Because we're we, we got a lot of places where we're gonna get leather. And we'll go two, three, four, five, six. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's build this up. Although I just realized that half a stack of uh, half a stack of chests is not enough for this particular endeavor. Did I bring any more lumber? Yes, of course I did. Oh, come on. Fine. <laughs> Is 
is the way we place the chests. I have been tempted to uh, find a data pack or some way to rename all the cooked pork into barbecue. But, uh, here's the blasphemous question. Since we're in the Carolinas, would it, which, uh, would it be the Eastern Carolina barbecue or the Western Carolina barbecue? And if that doesn't get Arcadius and Medica on the line, I don't know what will. <laughs> I gotta admit, I, I am not northern. I don't remember that being an option. Only 12? Uh, I, I'd have actually figured that... Uh, oh, I just flew up here and forgot what I needed. Uh, that, that I needed um, some of the redstone stuff. All right. Uh, let's get that in there. I need... Five comparators. Five torches. Five repeaters and a bunch of dust. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to spend a day crafting up a bunch of redstone resources because uh, that that's a that's a pitiful components box. Oh, well, since I got the filters, uh, and I know I'm gonna need more hoppers. How much lumber am I gonna burn through on this project? Should I should I have brought some uh, some stuff for uh, <laughs> to to uh, to grow some trees out here? Get a nice little uh, spruce forest going. All right. So this is going to be oh, not that side. Uh, this is going to be the filter setup. Same basic deal. Uh, it's going to go there. We're going to have our row under there. Our redstone torches like so. Oh, now I know what I forgot. I need... <laughs> I need some leather and uh, cooked pork chop to set up the filters. I may have to fly back to... Uh, fly back to the base for that. I should probably put a ladder up here with as many times as I'm having to climb up and down too. Uh, no, a ladder, a ladder is on the agenda for maintenance because everything, everything needs maintenance. You never know what you're going to have to go fix. Alright, so it's our, our standard Impulse SV filter system used the world over. And we'll get our CD filter. Two, three, four. Yeah, so. I wonder if I should go f pick a fight with a pig to get the pork chop. Or since we're in the south, uh, since we've established we're in the south, should it be a pork chop? No, I can't even do that, right? Alright, let's, uh, let's run. Let's run back. Uh, I don't. 
done with the redstone dust, I think. <coughs> I've still got two more stacks of logs, just in case. Yeah, okay. All right, let's, uh, let's make our way back. Kind of nice that we get this uh, going this way, although I'll have to move the uh, the road in front because there's going to be a building behind there covering up the, the redstone there. All right. Uh, what was it? Four. Four cork. Corked pork chop. Cooked pork chop. Maybe I need to dip into that coffee a little bit harder. I think I got it in here without having to fly all the way over to the castle. All the way over to the castle. <laughs> I say that like it's such an onerous flight. Those two puppies. This makes me smile every time I walk by. Those two puppies. Okay. Focus, focus. Let me grab some pork chop and some leather. Uh, technically, the filter needs more than that, but honestly, this thing's going to produce more than enough quick enough that uh, we don't we don't have to... Oh, scaffolding, scaffolding. Uh, although, I think I got that in my toolbox, right? Uh, mm, mm. Yeah, I got a... Ooh, I only have 110 scaffolding in there. Don't think that's going to be enough, because I, I think I need to get up uh, 100 and 128. So let's grab... Actually, let's eat some of the cake they got left behind. It's not filling, but it's delicious. All right, let's... Uh, oh. 128 blocks would be two stacks of scaffolding. I, if I were me, I would have put my string there. And let's just top off this stack. Because uh, it's not like I got room for tons of scaffolding. Well, let's, let's go ahead and make another stack. Ah, close enough. Close enough for government work. Oh, wait. That's what it was when I was short. All right. Eventually, I will... I, I, eventually, there will be a proper storage system than some random unmarked chests in the back of the... Uh, in the back of the... In the back of the base... all about that base. Sorry. <laughs> all right. See, I ate that cake. I'm already hungry again. I rename it Chinese food. Fills you up for just a minute. Seriously? I took damage from flying into a candle? <laughs> I, I I didn't think they were that sturdy. I, I took damage flying into a candle. I mean, I guess in the game it makes sense since it is a an actual block with height that you can, uh, yeah, that that actually you can step on and whatnot. I don't know. Some of the things in this game just surprise me to no end. I just heard the, the noises of something. All right. Uh, so what do I need to do now? 
I need... Oh, that's right. I was going to put... A pork chop. A pork chop. A pork chop. And the rest. And some leather. Because uh, I just realized I probably need to put item frames and all that down below too. Because uh, I, I do have a bunch of sticks in here, don't I? Yes. Of course. Only four item frames worth. Alright. Well, that... <coughs> that is going to be the leather. And I have even less cooked pork. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Well, we'll get all that named and sorted later. I, I just wanted to make sure that I knew which side, which side had the leather first. Alright. Uh, so... This. This is still my center. 1071. Alright, um. Yeah, 1071. Now I need. Oh, is it is it that dark? Sorry, I, I I keep forgetting that it the gamma is brighter on my side than it is on the stream for some reason. Appreciate that. I figure you might use those. Yeah, yeah. some points it's bright enough that it's not an issue and then sometimes when you turn the camera in just certain directions it's, it's like dark supremely dark yeah <laughs> so we'll just you know put some light on the situation nope much appreciated uh how many more item frames do i need to make i need to make five six So that's going to be two. Four. All right. Uh, if it's two per and I need six, that's going to be 12. Oh, wait, no. I definitely miscounted that. I. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. So we're going to get one more there, and I just need to make sure that I know that that is the leather. Now I can put the rest in the filter. good now um I should probably actually get the uh get the ladder to climb up here so if I ever need to do maintenance I can um all right so input's gonna have to go down one side and then we'll go this way and I need a dropper. Because I also need overflow. Um, am I wasting st oh. <laughs> breaking wool and back when I uh, that's all I need. Um, Put the slime block. All right. Um, what am I going to do? We're climbing up this thing. I could do scaffolding. 
I brought I brought enough. And there we go. Wait. Oh. <laughs> The, the, this is this is a little too close to real when you look inside your toolbox and you find that thing that you already had that you went and got more of. Hi, Beach Duck. I, I don't know why I thought to say hi, Beach Duck, after that statement. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I don't know. I need to put something on top of there, so that way there's no mob spawning. Carpet is not an option. Um, I could put a pressure plate, but that would interfere with the uh, redstone. Um, do I have any coal? I thought I had some coal somewhere. There we go. I'll just put a torch on top. And hope that that's enough. <laughs> Uh, do you have something in particular that you're working on over there? Or can you get me uh, eight of the Piglin Brethren? Seven one is my center. So that means uh, one, two, and then oh yeah, there we go. That's what we can do. We'll go out by one. Oh no! Nope. Oh, there we go. And I definitely need to make more hoppers. Good thing I brought extra iron. Um. Also, a good thing that spruce is an easy thing to uh, to get more of. Yikes! Um, let's go and see if that's going to be enough. What I want to do is, oh wait, 107, 1. That also means that we're going to go over 1, 2. Yeah, so I want a one block gap above the about where the input stream is going to go. Uh, let me also grab, I think I got a bunch of composters somewhere around here too. Are they in my toolbox? No. Are they in my portable workshop? Yes. I guess I'm going to need to spend a little time crafting a bunch of those, too. I mean, at this point, I'm not sure why I don't have composters in with the redstone materials. I, I use it so much. Because they do, they do immensely help keep the lag down. Because these hoppers are not actually pulling anything over the top. Uh, which means that they're checking the blocks above them constantly to find out if there's something to grab. And since there's not, uh, since for this purpose, we don't want them to check and check and check and check and take up uh, processing cycles. We put the smallest container possible on top of them. So it has the least amount of space to check. For, uh, for a long time, it was furnaces, but people found out the furnaces actually hurt because, sorry, uh, the rave said it was time to drink another. <coughs> uh, but furnaces also need to check and see if there's anything for them to burn. So that, that actually made things worse. Uh, solid block uh, doesn't stop some of the checks. And 
and so uh, for a while there, people were putting dispensers or droppers on top because that is a relatively small inventory. But ever since composters, it's got the one thing to check for. And that seems to do the most efficient job of making sure that uh, that everything's good to go. All right. Uh, so what I need to do is knock this off for a second. Get up this way. Is what I think I need to go is one more up. All right. And 1071. So we're going to go. One, two, three, four. That's center. So we're going to go one, two, right? One, and then two. This is 1071, so that should be the middle. So we're going one, two, three, four, five. And, <laughs> and I need more hoppers. Because, of course, I do. I need four, eight, eight more hoppers. Oh, hey, you are you're mentioning twelve types of barbecue and you say northern. Why why northern? That was not the answer I was expecting out of you. I think you're muted. I wasn't actually paying attention to the question. I was just being cantankerous. Oh. Okay. What was the actual question? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the actual question was about uh, renaming the the cooked pork chop into barbecue, just uh, as a as a joke of sorts. And then the question was, well, if we're going to rename it barbecue, is it going to be the Western Carolina barbecue or the Eastern Carolina barbecue? And I figured that would get you and medic. Although, I don't know if you guys share the same taste in barbecue or not. Well, it's a pork chop. It's not barbecue. That seems silly. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, we're in the south. Po chop. Po chop. But again. But again. Yeah. All right. Um... That my redstone supplies put no 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 put that my redstone supplies. I think I'm done with the chests and the iron. I don't need my filter block anymore. All right, uh, let's grab. A bunch of scaffolding, and then I can put that away until it's time to pick it all back up. Oh, yeah, I've been spending a lot of time working on my armory and getting uh, getting it getting it set up, so I've got uh, full sets of backup gear, fully enchanted. Uh, that definitely, that definitely leaves me feeling a little bit better about... <laughs> about uh, in case the unfortunate should happen. All right, let's grab everything. Let's just grab everything. Can I fit everything in here? Barely. I don't need that slab anyway. All right, so I've got a five by five setup of hoppers and a crimson crimson etc biome crimson etc I'm sorry 
So that's one, two, three, four, five. When the time comes, we're going to light this ablaze. <laughs> oh, I guess I do need one more, uh, one more composter. Yeah, everything I need to build. Except for the composter that I forgot. <laughs> now I got everything. Oh, and, and the flint and steel I needed. Shuffle inventory, shuffle inventory. There. Ta da! Now I got everything. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you saw earlier, Medic, but I've got one. One piglin over over here in a boat. And I need seven more of his brothers for a total of eight. Maybe a couple extra just in case something unfortunate happens. If you leave them in a boat, they will not despawn. And, uh, and then we'll be able to go from there. That'll go there. Oh, <laughs> I, I do. I do love that placing sponges in the nether instantly dries them out. Because uh, that that was not a fun task at all. Not at all. It was just so slow. I know. Just sitting there waiting. I mean, even with the furnace array, that takes forever to cook and dry them out. You know that you know that with a hoe you can pretty much instantly break them down, right? Is it a hoe? Yeah, it's a hoe. I never remember which one it was. Yep, it's a hoe. It it, it pretty much instantly breaks them. Let, let me put the eternal flint and steel away before I light myself on fire. Three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I don't know why I keep double checking and triple checking. Never mind. Don't answer that. All right. So, let me leave that one, oh, <laughs> leave that one open so I've got an out. I'm kind of glad I didn't hook up the disposal, otherwise that would have been very unfortunate. To, uh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna fill in the quarters with uh, fence posts. And I'll hook up the garbage disposal last. <laughs> Oh, I was also deeply tempted to name that that piggy uh, went to the market, and the next one uh, stayed home. Wee wee wee, all the way home. <laughs> oh come on! Why 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 are you doing this to me, Minecraft? Why? What, what did I? Never mind. Two, three. There's my out for when I set this ablaze. I'm going to decorate this in uh, crimson planks and fence posts and such. Alright, so that is the... that's going to be the fire pit. 
uh, because it is sole sand, it is not a full block, so the hoppers underneath will be able to pull the cooked pork chop before they burn up in the fire, which will be nice. And when you light it up, it does the blue flames that do more damage than a standard flame, which is also nice. All right. Um, sorry, consulting notes to make sure that I do this right. Uh, <laughs> I hear that's important. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. space to play with. As long as I have only eight blocks in my inventory or er, in my hand to place down, I don't have to worry about miscounting. Oh, did you figure it out? Uh yeah. I'm making sure that we don't have to worry about food for the rest of the season. And the beautiful thing is, I, I mean, I love the golden carrots, but you got to burn through emeralds and trade to get the golden carrots. This requires standing on an AFK platform for a little bit, and that's about it. So, I, yes, I am lazy. I acknowledge it. I admit it. I'm okay with that. I need... I need a bunch of trapdoors. How many trapdoors did that say I needed? I need... 16 trapdoors. Alright, uh... Let's get some light here. So nothing unfortunate appears before I'm ready for it. <laughs> it's time will come. Okay. That's only 10. Um, that's going to be 12. as useful as it once was. so that the, uh, the pathfinding thinks it can walk across. Three.
And the lighting helps keep the uh, unfortunateness down. <laughs> okay. Uh, I also... I think I'm going to need to make a few more of those potions. Where did I where did I forget two trap Oh, looks like I have two extra trap doors. This is not the sort of thing where you should end up with spare parts. <laughs> I had a teacher in college that did that, though. Uh, it was the computer hardware maintenance class. And what he would do... <laughs> he would... Uh, he would randomly add extra parts to the computer you're supposed to be building. So you'd have a box of parts. Your objective was to assemble the computer in the box. And he would just leave like a few extra random screws and stuff. Just to, just to see what people did. Uh, he always got nervous when people found places for all the extra parts. <laughs> Hey, get out of those. What did you end up stealing? I know you and your unattended shulker ways. <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> did I catch all those? I guess I did. I thought there were some other ones that I dropped and missed. Oh, there we go. Oh, piggy spawn. Hmm? Alright. Uh, I know that there's another Crimson Nihilium that needs to end up in the middle there, but I... F okay, a four block gap. So one, two, three, four. All right, one, two, three, four. Crimson Nihilium, Warped Fungus. should put me at the edge there with a Crimson Nihilium. One, two. Two, three. Four block gap. All right. One, two, three, four. Crimson Nihilium, Warped Fungus. One. Two, three, four. I wonder if I'm going to have the uh, stats for crouching again. If I keep building on ledges like this. Finish this side and then I'll get to proper lighting. Yeah, because th this should all be within the no spawn. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> um, you realize that I'm probably too close for that to work, right? Yeah, I realized that after I already built. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, I have it on good authority that you can do it over by the, the piglin farm, though. That's how I got the first guy. <laughs> that, that, that was completely on accident, too. We were both not, not, not happy to see each other. the fall isn't as bad as uh, when we were working on that gold farm. <laughs> uh, that's true. Th this is survivable if you fall off. <laughs> 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 At least until I get to the AFK platform, then uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm we're in trouble. Well, just don't fall. Yeah, yeah, just don't fall. Gotcha. Get this lighting started now. And it's supposed to be all along one side. Except for the obvious hole in the middle. Right? Okay. Just about there. <laughs> so many golden carrots. <laughs> well, that's only one per. Well, one per three, actually. Yeah, I think I, I just need to remember to make like a shulker box full of them next time we do another another roof build. Just toss me in the empty bottles, I'll go make more. <laughs> Actually, I got a brewing stand in my uh, ender chest. Well, it'd require me to have the ingredients on me, and that's, that's not... That's I actually not might have them. This works. Hang on. What, what are, oh. Is that the cobble for the boat? No, I got a whole uh, potion brewing box. Redstone. Because all you need is a uh, wart, golden carrot, and redstone. And three bottles of water, which um, you can come through the portal you're standing next to and get water. So. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I've got empty bottles from where I was using potions to do stuff here and bring you. <laughs> I got a bunch of empty bottles in there. Oh, and I do have a couple of night vision bottles. Okay. Oh, it's right there if you uh, if you feel up to it. Oh, I'm right here. I'm coming back. The bottles. What top bottle? I, 
I try to be prepared. One, two, three, four. Nylium fungus. Two, three, four. Uh, golden carrots, maybe? In the potion bottle? Or in the box there? Or it, they're not in the blue box? No. Oh. You have glistening melon, but you don't want healing potions. Uh, check now. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. I, I missed them. Wow. <laughs> I swear I didn't see them before. I'm sorry. My yeah, yeah. Um, I knew I was forgetting that, something. Uh, you, you, you know how that is when you're packing a box and you go, man, I am forgetting something. <laughs> Two, three, four. <laughs> Give that 90 seconds and you have three more potions on it. Place the same one. Two, three, four. And, and the fungus. Oh, that's right, because I got the three on that side. All right. I was like, why do I have three more left over? The, this the the math is not working out here. <laughs> One, yeah, two, three, four. I know there's a couple items that I grabbed extras of. Not because I needed extras, but because the crafting recipe doesn't allow it. Like, glass doesn't make, doesn't let you make 60. <laughs> you, you can only make 64. Or less. But if all you need is 60, guess what? You're making some extra. One, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four. And the nylium. And that puts us at the corner. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, right? Yep, okay. Okay, good. pros do that too. They just cut it out of the video. <laughs> that doesn't make it any less frustrating when it happens. Alright. Uh, as soon as I get the lighting done, uh, I'll explain this part here. So I've already explained the soul sand and how the blue fire is going to kill him quicker. Um, that is one. Oh, by the way, that is one of the reasons why I really do like Logical Geek Boys videos. While some of the farms aren't quite what I want to build, I love that he takes the time to explain the mechanics that go along with it. So you're not sitting there wondering, like, oh, wait, how is that? The what? <laughs> you 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 will finish understanding what is going on um so let me get the let me get these torches down and i, I should end up with a couple extra because i crafted another four for the thing let's get this line here and then we got this line here, and there's going to be some on the glass when I get done with that. And then... Uh, 
Oh, somebody didn't take uh, enough screenshots. I, I, somebody thought better of their memory than they should have. <coughs> I'm sorry. I do that a lot. <laughs> the torches are plentiful enough that the, the hoglins should be the only mobs that spawn on this platform. The hoglins are afraid of the warped mushrooms. So the hoglins spawn in, they run away from the warped mushroom. Because of the trap doors, they think they can pathfind onto that block, which is the furthest away from any of the mushrooms. They, they can't walk across the open trap doors, so they fall into the pit, burn, and become tasty, tasty pork chops. And, uh, and that's, that's pretty much the farm. I just need to put a glass perimeter around the outside. Uh, three blocks high. And then add a couple more torches and, and then an AFK platform. And that'll, that'll be it. Uh, this is actually going, uh, I don't know. The, uh, don't say it. <laughs> well, I, I wasn't entirely sure how much time to budget for this one. So I wasn't sure if this was going to be another stream where I, I ended up, uh, finishing early or or what Just don't say it of course I still gotta build the the uh, the beautification platform uh, or some such And no, it doesn't have to be red glass and, and blue glass where I have it. I just, uh, that's for funsies. The red glass because it blends in with the, uh, with the netherrack and all that up here. And the blue glass because that's going to blend in with the fire. That beautiful nether luau. Well, I guess it can't be a true luau, can it? Because, uh, we're not burying them and slow cooking them. So would this be more of a, would this be a deep fry? No, because we're not, we're not, we're not cooking them that any oil or anything like that. I think you're overthinking this way too much. Enjoy your poach up. <laughs> think about it. <laughs> not meant to be thought about. They're meant to just be eaten. You say that, but I mean, hey, if they were supposed to be thought about, they'd have come with an instruction manual. Uh, I don't think that's how that works. Yep, that's how that works. Now, here's the other thing. In in, in his video, he mentioned that if you want to, you can tile this farm one on top of another. Uh, and he compared the rates to one layer, like we're building, and five layers. Uh, five layers is good for uh, if you wanted to set up like a cooked pork chop store on Hermitcraft or something like that. Uh, one layer is probably going to feed the four of us for the remainder of the season without any trouble. After one AFK session. Yeah. If it's anything like last season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and I'm trying to remember where those are the four torches that I made to put on there. So I think it's supposed to be here. And then down here. Yep, there we go. Sweet. Uh, 
I'll grab my eternal flint and steel and the blue glass. Let's uh, light this up. Because this part is done. Let's uh, not burn ourselves in the process, shall we? torch up here. I'll have to do something else later. I, I really don't like that there. And then I'll have to cook, uh, cook up, hook up the dropper because basically I just, I just want to make sure that there's an overflow set up so that way once this is done um, everything goes down and gets disposed of. Alright, so... Let's put... Let's get these three potions and night vision. Let's, uh, there we go. I was thinking about cooking up another one, but I, I think maybe not. Four more potions should be more than enough to get us through the remainder of the video. Of course, now that I said that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to need... some crimson slabs. Maybe some stairs. I need to go grab my light block box. I can put the blue glass away. I need a shroom light. I don't need a shroom light. I want a shroom light. And I can go ahead and put... What? I got... Toolbox away. What else do I not need on me right now? Uh, oh, the flint and steel. Let's uh, let's not accidentally burn anything up that we don't want to burn up. <laughs> I, I hear that's usually that's usually good. I also need to breed up some more axolotls because I, I would actually like uh, an axolotl army in in a box. <laughs> Seems like overkill. <laughs> what? Should, should I just make a seven axolotl army? I'd play the music uh, to go along with it, but then I'd get a copy strike, and that'd make me sad. Killing me, small. What? What? All right. Uh, I forgot to mute my phone. Google keeps giving me all these like. Do you remember these photos? Yes, but I didn't ask you. <laughs> Did you look at this today? No, I didn't want to. If I wanted to look at it, I would have looked at it. All right, I got to remember 1071. <laughs> That's helpful as Clippy. Mm-hmm. Scaffolding. I'm not going to leave the scaffolding as the way up and down. I, I, I just can't bring myself to do it. I'm probably going to grow the... Not, 
What are you? Mute fool. Alright. I'm probably gonna grow the... Not probably. I'm gonna grow the crimson root back down there. And I'll make sure the platform's big enough that it's easier to land on than the last time. Because, <laughs> uh... <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I, I kind of struggled to stick that landing more than a few times on the way up to the AFK platform. Um, that, that was not... That was not the best. Ooh, we should get some uh, pork chop while we're up here working on it, too. That's right. Uh, there we go. Get a bottom slab there. Well, I'll get that later. <laughs> So, oh, come on. Why do you hate me, blocks? Because that should be one oh seven one, right? Yep, there we go. Good thing I haven't hooked up the trash compactor yet. that one more that I needed. <laughs> Although I almost think I, you know what? Yeah. glass floor so you can look down at the uh, at the at the food cooking actually I should be able to use free cam Come down, and there we go. Look look at that. They're already... Oh, it's a baby. Poor guy. And there they go. Spawning in herds and running for the hole. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. So as long as you're AFK'd up there, you are high enough in the world that this platform should be the only place that they can spawn. Uh, if you had that platform any lower, you'd have to worry about uh, lighting up any, any or lighting up, uh, having stuff spawn below the, the bedrock there and, uh, and thus reducing how many pigs appear here. Um, oh, of course the stair landed there. That's unfortunate. And we'll, we'll, so we'll finish up the AFK platform and there should be plenty of pork chop to spare in a minute. All right, let's get back here. 
And now, we return you to your regularly scheduled uh, farming. <laughs> Currently in progress. We'll see what I can recover. The, the nice thing about using lumber is that it's at least an easily uh, obtainable resource. While I feel grumpy and grumbly about losing pieces like that ladder that didn't quite get to the somewhere that I could pick it up. Uh, it's a lot better than it could have been. Alright, and what I'll do is we'll go... build a proper walkway, but first we'll... this and bottoms up I'd ask how many people know the Van Halen song by that name but I don't want I don't know that I want the answer stairs because I forgot uh, for for the weeping vines to work you you need to uh, th they need to go on a roof and we're at build limit <laughs> oops all right uh, so let's do this. slab there so that way nothing can uh, spawn on top of it well oh, I didn't wait, quite want to do that yet but all right there we are That's what I feared. All right. Uh, oh, come. All right, that'll work. That's... okay. Why can I not go down the scaffolding while I'm on the vine? Arcadius, are you still nearby? No, I'm inside the water temple right now. Okay, never mind. But I'm about to exit the water 
Nah, I got it now. Ooh. Oh, that that hurt more than I expected. And my stairs have already despawned. Let's gather all the scaffolding. I mean, there's a part of me that's worried about uh, picking up all the scaffolding, but there's a part of me that's like, nah, that'll be. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I mean, we we just finished building it. We've already got nine stacks and then some. And a leather. <laughs> oh, beautiful. That that did not take long at all. take care of anviling and renaming those what I wanted to do here uh, 41 41 Get 40 in that filter there oh that's right uh, 40 in that filter there And, of course, we got more leather, because uh, I had only put, like, ten or so in there. Okay. Haha, <laughs> nice. Uh, y you should be okay on food for the next little while. <laughs> well, it's a good thing it's right there, because, uh, as much as they're punching me in the face, I'm going to need <laughs> Yeah, I know that feeling. Alright, uh, did any of the scaffolding, yeah, did any of the scaffolding fall in here? Silly question. Alright, I'm missing a scaffolding. I guess I can live with that. That was a rougher landing than I wanted. Then we'll grow this vine down. Alright, I think that's actually all the way down. Huh. And we'll make the way off this platform a little bit less precarious. Just need two more stairs. Two more stairs? Yeah. Two more stairs. I know, I said two more, but uh, I want to kind of... You'll see. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not the time for the rave. <laughs> I guess it would help if I turn my microphone on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would help. Hi! Uh, hey. Have you been trying to <laughs> have you been trying to reach us about our car's warranty? Yes, for quite a while. 
I just figured you you guys were like ignoring me. No. Uh, I was wondering if you were going to get on and chat with us, but, uh, you know, okay. Like, fine. Uh, that, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, every now and then I'd make some kind of little comment about something and chuckle about it. Nobody'd say anything. I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently, apparently turning the mic on helps. Just a little. All right. We, we got all the pork chop we need and then some, man. Nice. I'll make the AFK platform a little prettier a little bit later. Uh, I need to build some... I don't need to. I want to build some fence to do a little bit around the corners here. I don't have to put a lid on it, although I might just the same. Ooh. Yeah, I'll go trading with the villagers and make some red glass to put a red glass lid on top of this thing. Just so that way I don't have to worry about... Uh, the light level should keep ghast from spawning, but just the same, I'd rather belt and suspenders that one. You know what I mean? Because that that does not seem like the sort of thing you you, you willingly leave to chance. All right. Uh, yeah. In my toolbox. The scaffolding. I'll pack up the rest of this later. And oh, I need to do that first. All right. Um. Uh, Let me grab a slime. I got my temporary block. And I'm going to need a comparator, a sticky piston, two observers and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> All right, actually, no, I need that. Uh, instead of that, that goes there as a temporary block. Instead of the wool, I'll use that as my block because that's also going to be a part of the block palette under here. Um. I want the block that it's going to go on. Oh, other direction. And I'm going to need more stairs. Uh, it's probably more than I needed, but... Question is, do I have enough leftover red glass to make this work? Probably. Let's get to building some of those fences. We got the fences, we got the glass. Um, I guess I probably shouldn't have put that scaffolding away. Right. Uh, I thought I had... Oh, I did have a bunch of bum blocks on me. Okay, I didn't need to bring that. Of course. Alright, let's grab a little bit of scaffolding here so I got something to work on. We'll get a 
fences in the corners, glass right there. No good reason other than because we can. Comparator goes out this way. Sticky piston goes under. Oh, too far down. <coughs> this guy. Got to get my temporary block out of here. All right, that's everything out of there. I'll put that there. Get my temporary block here, so I can put that guy like a so. So I can get that guy like so. I'm over here doing some work by the uh, slime farm, and mm -hmm. I just keep hearing you step on the slime and thinking the slime spawn near me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wish and I look over real quick. I'm like, oh, okay, you're jumping on the <laughs> slime. Never mind. Lovely. Oh, I need my flint and steel. The whole point of this was to have a fire under there. My enchanted flint and steel. That should be a thing in D&D. &D. Enchanted flint and steel. Mm -hmm. Like a forever tinder twig. So you get the action economy of a tinder twig, but you never have to worry about running out. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, come on. There we go. And oh, I'm missing one on the other side. And I still need to make sure that I spawn proof the uh, the top of the these guys. And that's where these last two glass blocks will go. Perfect. And if I remember right, the composters are not spawnable. All that has redstone on it. Um, a pressure... Oh, no. No, no, no. No, that's right. That's why I didn't do a pressure plate. Might do something different with that. I wanted, I did want to make sure that I had a way up there, but uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that so much. Uh, all right, I think that is all the spawnable surfaces accounted for. <laughs> that is a ridiculous about a pork chop already. I love it. I love it. Okay. Uh, oh, no. I forgot. I need to put the flint steel away. And that away. And that away.
Right, Arcadia said that I should be able to get some water over on this side because I do want to stream for... Jo oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I can't get water here, we get bigger problems. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, I hope there's water over... Oh, oh, never mind. Yeah. If you can't find water out here, you're doing something wrong. I mean, I've had those days where it's felt like, <laughs> oh, um, you know this box doesn't, oh, oops, sorry, I forgot that I had the Frostwalker boots on. <laughs> that doesn't matter, it'll go away. Uh, you know you got some guardians spawning outside this thing, right? Yeah, it's pack spawning rules. Okay. As soon as we get rid of the water on the inside of that box, they won't spawn outside of it. Okay. I've already put down one whole choker box of sand inside the temple. Oof. Yeah, I was going to help you out with some of that too. Uh, but what I was going to do is I was going to take my redstone box and just get something that would automatically uh, push the push the sand out so I could stand in one spot and just right click and hold down the right mouse button. Hey, I ain't mad about that. <laughs> uh, I prefer to be efficient about this. <laughs> Some might call it lazy. I call it efficient. <laughs> ah. Don't working smarter, not harder. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, no, I'm gonna need more. All right, that's working. Actually, I should probably break that down into powder so that way it's easier to transport. There we go. Yeah, I got the two buckets there to make an infant water source if you need it, but uh, I realized the flaw in that plan when, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, about that idea. <laughs> I mean, it looked like a really good idea on paper. I'm sure. I'm sure that looked like a great idea. It did, on paper. That's oh. in my monk. <laughs> I, I'm surprised you went there, good sir. <laughs> All right, let's get. Maybe I should have decorated while I was at this. <laughs> I'll be back uh, probably not tonight. Okay. <laughs> Later. Take it easy. Take care, man.
just in time. Maybe it's a good thing I did that. Okay. I was beginning to think like, yeah, I guess I, I guess I could have gotten away without making any more. Oh, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, that's the one downside to scaffolding. Like that, it is. It makes a lot of things way easier. Uh, but that that whole limit to how far you can push it before you get another supporting column is uh, a little a might bit frustrating. Or am I the only one that thinks that? I just don't use this stuff. I I don't like how you have to like the the shifting and all that. It's I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> um, I mean, I I do use it a fair bit. Uh, it it's definitely got its uses, but there there are a fair number of jobs that uh it it's not the right tool for the job. I would just rather almost always, hands down, use um, slime blocks over scaffolding. Oh, uh, there, there's. Uh, I'll use slime blocks for a lot of things. I, you, you've seen me do it here and now, uh, especially when when there's a need for temporary blocks. But on the other hand, scaffolding is cheap enough that I don't. I don't worry too much about losing it. And I guess now that we got that now that we got a good working slime farm, that that's less of a concern now too. I was about to say I'm pretty sure it's fairly cheap now. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to figure out how I'm going to get a way up here. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. Uh, I think I got my answer. And... I was going to need some slabs anyway. I don't think I can put it on there. But if I do that... There we go. It is kind of nice having an instant ladder. Then I can grow that back down. I gotta double check this, but I heard a couple people talk about how there's been an update to the way all the different vines work. That if you snip the bottommost one with a set of shears, it won't keep growing. Uh, but that definitely feels like a big old citation needed. Or maybe that's just me. No, no, I'd, I'd like to see that quoted from Mojang. That that doesn't feel like that was a official release. Or it, or it might have been one of those things that was intended to go out with a future, a future thing. All right. Um. I need a lot more stairs than that. We'll start there just in case I misjudged. Um. <laughs>
Okay. Let's get our fence. I really wanted that one higher. Let's get our fence in the corner. scaffolding out to the other side. <laughs> I'll definitely be able to... <laughs> I'll AFK here overnight and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to fill up that brown bag. No trouble. Because I've been down here where, where they can't spawn in because I'm too close. I just want to finish uh, at least getting some a little bit of a little bit of trim. recipe needs to be made. Uh, iron bars and scaffolding make scaffolding with guardrails so you don't fall off. No? Or should they be sticks? Um, probably sticks. I mean, the other sounds like it would do fall damage like if you were underneath it when it fell. Oh, when it fell? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh. Okay. Fair point. Like, like, Dripstone has nothing on this, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I've seen enough Bond movies. I know how this goes. Uh, were, were you parkour on the crane above the, uh, way above everything? And, yeah. Or is that not parkour? Was that the, uh, the other, uh, what is it that I'm trying to remember? No, uh, they, they were parkour, but I was referring to the, the scaffolding falling towards the end where he, like, drops the scaffolding. Oh, forward. yeah. to think about how I decorate this one because I'm not I'm not entirely sure what I want to do I just want to make sure that I hide that a little bit better I may have to go AFK on the platform for a while and think about it munch on my new favorite lunch. got up to that corner done.
No. Um, but... <laughs> this is the way we take fall damage, take fall damage, take fall damage. We'll start with that. Might as well clean up some of my scaffolding on here. How's everybody in chat doing? Beach duck still there? I'm surprised there was no uh, no comments on the pork chops or barbecue. Uh, much shark over there. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Especially since a comment would have been made after that comment if, uh, yeah. Well, that was the point. I was trying to see if she was there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Out. Falling off. Definitely gonna need more than ten. That's for sure. I also made a few too many fences. Oh, that's right. I was gonna put a safety rail up there anyway. So no, I didn't make too many fences. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven more stairs. to think long and hard about this one. I might put some crimson slabs under the netherrack. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely put some crimson slabs under the netherrack. Because that's not pretty. Um... might just build a small structure around the redstone alone instead of building an actual a full-on building but I'll definitely stop and think about that before I actually build anything some uh, soul fire lanterns to put up on the walkway there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Alright. Um... Alright, let's put that away. sand do I hello I mean it's not like I don't know where I can get some in fairly short order ah, I got some never mind I got some lanterns on me right now not many I guess I'll have to uh, I'll have to go make some more that's a shame. Alright. Yep. Yep. Put that on the crafting agenda. Uh, oh, maybe I'll 
I'll brew up one more set of night vision. Need another wart, the golden cat, and the redstone. <laughs> Not the crimson stems. Are you trying to clear out the inside of the temple? Yeah, I'm working on the inside right now. Almost, uh... I won't say almost done. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, what, what is this done of which you speak? Like I said, I won't say almost done, but I put a huge chunk into this interior, clearing the water. sand is basically earmarked for here until we take this temple down. Oh, you're you're using sand to fill up the temple? I thought you were using the sponges. Ooh. Why, why you gotta say it like that? Because I, I, I hate using sponges. <laughs> <laughs> I collect those for other people to use. <laughs> Man. Uh, like, like they're like they're in uh, yeah. Stand sponges. <laughs> no matter where I place the sponge, it doesn't matter. It's like the water just automatically comes back. It's like the bane of my existence. I just I just don't know how to use a sponge apparently. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure Reyes would agree on that one. stairs do I need? One, two, three, four, five. Hello, Axonim. How you doing? Hey, Axonim. How's it going? We just built a massive cooked pork chop farm. Not massive. Uh, we, we built a cooked pork chop farm. Uh, the results are more than enough to feed the four of us. Like, this is just from while I was building. Yeah, I... You have no idea how tempted I've been to retexture and rename cooked pork chop to bacon. Bacon or Canadian bacon? I mean, Canadian bacon wouldn't require as much of a uh, a change. How many stairs did I say I needed? Eight. All the stairs. We'll start with that. <laughs> now it's just a little bit of touch up and unnecessary things like, you know, decorating the AFK platform a little bit. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> that's right. I can't put that there. We're at the build limit. <laughs> uh, aren't working that around that way, maybe. figure that out in a little bit uh, or so I keep telling myself let's at least do that because I'm tempted to, to work that rail down here um, no that's at the build limit but the this the what makes this beautiful is this is the AFK spot and uh, I've been playing with the free cam so basically, it just changes the point of view within the rendered area. It's a fabric add-on. And uh, so that way you can show off stuff. So the body is AFK up there as far as the server is concerned. Uh, I'm up there, but I can come down here and show you how the farm works. This is one by Logical Geek Boy, and I think this will work in, um, in Bedrock as well. I don't know if this is the exact same one Doc uses, but it works on the same principles. The idea is you want this lit up enough that only the hoglins can form. The biome that you're in is a crimson forest, and they run away from the warped fungi into a pit of burning soul sand. And since the soul sand is not a full block high, the hoppers can pull the cooked pork chop and leather, and... Uh, and I got a little overflow protection there, too, because uh, I don't like having 872 things sitting around causing lag. But I'm pretty sure these all these mechanics work in uh, in Bedrock, though, don't they? Have you done anything like this on, on your server? On your server. Uh, on your world? Oh, no, 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 not, not for the, the, you don't have to worry, I'm not talking about the free cam, I'm talking about the cooked pork chop farm. If these mechanics are the same for Bedrock as they are Java. Because I, I, I seem to think that this is, this is pretty much the same, this is one of those few places where it's the same across the board. Um, at least as far as the, the half block and all that. Because if it is, th this is this is worth the time. I mean, it took me two hours to build it, and that's also stopping to explain as I go. Uh, although I did gather most of the stuff ahead of time, so th that did help a little bit too. Um, oh, that's right. I need to put the sign up so that way I, uh, I can give Logical Geek Boy the credit for this one. Uh, there we go. I got the link. Uh... Uh, look, 30% less of what we're getting out of here is still a lot. <laughs> I mean, you saw how many were popping in there, right? Uh, I mean, I just set this up a little bit and uh, I wasn't even a, I was up there for long enough to explain and long enough to build the platform. I've got the stack of pork chops in my hand and I've already had a few of those. Uh, I'm pretty sure by the time I log out, I can fill a shulker box with, uh, with, with uh, what I need. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Yeah, I, I've done those too. Uh, yeah, so that's like, that, that's just a few minutes. E even if it's like 30% less of this, that, that ain't bad at all. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that that's just been in the time since I've built it and was working on the AFK platform and talking. Like, 
you, you, you spend an hour up there and you're going to fill up most of this column of double chests. It, it's well and truly special and wonderful. Keep chugging back these potions of night vision so that way uh, things show up on the screen a little bit better while I'm doing this too. I, I've missed the notification that that was about to happen. All right. Um... Yeah, so, oh, oh, sign, sign. I was like, I came down here to do something. Sign, signs, everywhere, signs. All right. Um. Farm by Logical Geek Boy. Uh, his is a wonderful channel. He, he takes the time to explain all the mechanics at play for the farms. And his Simply Minecraft is a good way to get a handle on the basics. Like uh, the Simply Minecraft version of the Iron Farm. He goes into all the mechanics for spawning iron golems. And how they work, what range, why different farms are set up the way they are, uh, why certain farms don't work the way you would want them to. Uh, really, really wonderful channel if you haven't if you haven't been watching them. Uh, YouTube. Uh, oh. K-O-X-J? Yeah, and the accent's, the accent's good, too. <laughs> uh... I need to I need to go grab some glow squid so I can light that up. Do I have glow squid ink in my uh, woolen dye box? No. I need to remember to add glow squid ink to my woolen dye box. Yeah. Okay. So I'll get some glow squid ink to light that up. Uh, just. I don't know what else I'm going to do up there. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> why why is there raw cod in my potion box? The elder guardians send their regard. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to say that more menacing, aren't you? I tried, my voice cracked. Oh, you've been under the weather too, so I'm not. I, I'll give you a hard time, but not that hard a time. <laughs> Much appreciated. All right. Um. Hmm. All right. Uh, let me grab one, two, three, four, five. Ten more stairs. And I'll pull the fence out there, and then I'll figure out what I want to do with the rest of this once I get that done. Or I could have grabbed my crafting table and brought that up with me. That would have been the smarter thing to do. Which is probably why I didn't do it. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, the smart way. Or what, what was it that impulse and skills we were doing? It's the seasonal smart. SMRT. <laughs> oh, come on. Not that bad. Eight. I'm just saying how it ended. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, that that didn't quite go as well either. Um, I don't 
don't want to leave a spawnable surface anywhere. I'm par I'm deeply, deeply paranoid about stuff spawning when I don't want it to. This is where I want to roll it in. Yeah. And go like that there. And like that there. Sorry, build on it. Uh, maybe I will just leave it like this for net. No, I, I, no, I definitely want to put something around the edge here too. That just seems smarter. I may just save that for another day, though. Let me go clean up my mess before somebody gives me a hard time about. Uh, Shulker monsters, even though uh, I ain't got nothing on some of the people that. <laughs> hey, 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 you can't compare yourself to other people. You can only say about people on this server, good sir. Uh huh. Look, no, nobody, nobody's done, nobody's done a, a crazy video outlining my. <laughs> Photos, uh, photos of my shulker monster. <laughs> Do I need to? No. Because it's nothing. I... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can if you want me to. I mean, you will anyway, but... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Project 2, final use this. Yeah, I lived that life a little too long. <laughs> There we go. Nothing left over. Although, I probably should leave an ender chest over here. Because who doesn't need an extra ender chest? Get my recyclables back in the potion box. Alright, I got my ender chest here. We're leaving that one there. I still need to put some decoration around around this. Because uh, I'm trying not to leave ugly redstone blots all around the server. We'll see how long that lasts. Uh, what are you humming about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not a thing. Brown bag Not lunch. One K pork chops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna AFK there while I get the video uploading. That goes to that goes to the the temple where the fish farm's going. This guy has been working good, although I gotta fix a math error on the platform there. That that is driving me nuts. Uh, I'll probably spend a minute reformulating that. <laughs> oh, maybe I maybe I should name tag these guys with their Borg designations. One of eight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
That's been working good. I still haven't figured out how I'm going to do this redstone such that it will automatically turn on the carpet duplicator. Come on. There we go. Uh, as that empties, so that way I don't have to worry about running a switch and remembering to turn it on and off. But I've noticed that spending a few hours AFK up there, I definitely use the first furnace and occasionally use the second. Uh, maybe once or twice I've seen the third one get used, but I've never seen anything go into the fourth. So what I might do is take out one row from this furnace array and move the duplicator over by one. And that might give me that might give me the uh, the space to put together something a little bit a little bit bigger or better or more useful, maybe possibly. We'll see. Uh, or I could condense that down to two and uh, read from the double chest at the top over over two of them and use that as the signal to turn that on or off. And by getting it another block further away from this slice of the farm could could give me the room I need to, to maneuver. Because that has been part of it. Part of it has been the space available. And you know, the rotten flesh is filling up. I'll have to go uh, trade with our friendly cleric. I'm sure he'll be happy to receive some offerings. But in the meantime, I've been coming up to this guy and doing this deal. <laughs> and just sitting here while he ponders and tosses me something. Uh, I don't know if Medic saw in his box back at the castle, but I've been giving him all the crying obsidian because he said he was going to need a lot of it. Um... Oh, there, there, there's some of the soul sand, so I can make some more uh, more of the blue lanterns. Matter of fact, he should give me some iron nuggets, too. That, those are not iron nuggets, good sir. You, you, you want to give me some iron nuggets? Real quick? It'd be really nice. <laughs> That's not an iron nugget. Look at the gold. Now I'm sounding like Ray Est. Look at your station. <laughs> that it, yeah, we 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 know when Ray Est is over at the at the trading hall because she's yelling at the villagers. Look at your station. <laughs> do do you not see the clock on the wall? We retextured the clock so there's a little green gem that shows up every time every time work starts. Although. I need to update that texture too, maybe, uh, because I didn't realize that in the move up to 1.18 they retextured the clock, so it's a brighter gold than the old clock, and so the the clock with the gem has the duller gold during work hours. But I I also wonder if that isn't uh, a wry commentary on the state of work, um, that that. The work is a duller gold <laughs> than off hours. <laughs> Am I wrong for that? I feel like I might be wrong for that. Come on. Three more. You got this. Then I'll go build the lantern somewhere else because I know that he's... Uh, He's not going to be happy with uh, with me when I go open up an ender chest to put stuff away. And that's where I've been getting a lot of my ender pearls from, is trading with this guy. So, uh, probably not Friday. Most likely Tuesday, next Tuesday. I'm going to hopefully by then have seven of his brother's magically appear and the eight of them will go into a farm with a different design than I used on season one because with the season one farm I ran into the bottleneck that three 
three of these guys can produce more items than a hopper can move. So this is a setup that uses blue ice paths to, to move items over into storage. And uh, it even has a potion sorter where it destroys the splash potions and just leaves the regular potions, which I don't know that we ever use the splash potions of fire resistance. Mostly we use the regular potions. So I use the splash ones only in relation to OMG moments. Like, yeah. oh, why am I here? Why am I here? <laughs> but e even then, most of those are not... Uh, they're, they're not the sort of thing you're going to run into uh, where you need a fire... If you need a fire po fire resistance potion, it's because you're in the lava and you're not going to be able to splash it on the lava. No? Or am I... You know. Well, typically when I find myself in the lava, it's because I'm looking for netherite, in which case there's plenty <laughs> of stuff to smash it on. Okay. And just like the old adage goes... Case of emergency, <laughs> break, break glass. Open glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that goes over to our end portal. That goes over to our mining desert. That hole was supposed to be a mirror image of that vine, but the portal down below doesn't line up right. I gotta fix that. And that hole also goes over lava, which I, I need to fix that too. <laughs> that seems kind. Yeah, I also want to figure out a way to lure the zombie pigmen off this island because I hate having a herd of them floating around this island. It just irks me. Uh, I'm I'm tempted to put a trap door, a block, and an egg, and and so it draws them over off the uh, off the ledge there, and that is a far enough fall that it should kill them when they land. Also, who knocked down the uh, the twisted vine? Because I, I noticed that that was broken and there was a bunch of vine in a box. Yeah, it took me a moment to realize it didn't grow from the bottom up, but that was me. My uh, my hand spasmed and I punched it. Uh oh. While while I was trying to climb. It. Oh 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 oh. <laughs> and this was back before I had wings, mind you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. <laughs> tell you how well that went over. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that didn't go all that well at all. Oh, Axonim, I don't know if you saw, but we've retextured all the paintings again. So so we've got Jabba staring mournfully out into the uh into the sunrise. Leela, that is Pink Geek's dog. And uh we we've redone them all. Um Duke, one of Beach Duck's dogs. I got my two parrots. I, I'm kind of mad. I thought I just needed to bring two and breed them, and then I found out that in Java Edition you can't breed parrots. So uh, I, I'm going to have to go find the other colors. Because there's, what, five, five or six colors? I think. And I might have to silence them. That, that squawking does get to me from time to time. Uh... <coughs> came over here for a reason. What did I come over here for? I don't remember now. Well, that's that's not good. <laughs> what did I come over here for? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get some more of those guys. Some more of those guys. I'll have to. All right. I'll have to get some more iron for that. All right. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. I'll. I'll put this stuff away. And uh, maybe that's why I came over here was to put that stuff away. I don't think so, though. 
Did I remember something very specific? Uh, oh, that's not a good sign. That is not a good sign at all. Yeah, I need to go put those uh, fire charges back. I've been trying to keep a stack of them over by the uh, over by the Nether portal because you can light you can light another portal with a fire charge too. All right, let me uh, let me hit the credits and say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, Tuesdays, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is Coffee Craft, definitely, all the time. Fridays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is currently a grab bag because th things are a little crazy right now. And, uh, and I'm working on that. Uh, I should be able to get back to a schedule in the very near future. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. I hope. Uh, <laughs> in the meantime... Let's go see who's available for a raid. And it looks like Beast Lord J is on playing Babylon's Fall. So let's give him a raid. And, uh, and I will see you next time. Stick around for the raid.